Hey guys, I know I didn't do an introductory video for this and eh, sorry, but I'm reviewing the new Frozen Dunkin' Coffee. Obviously I've already had some. Um, it's really good. I'm doing this because I'm, I'm doing this one. Then I'm going to take a train over to the nearby town, go to Starbucks and review, I think, either the Unicorn or the Dragon Frappuccino. I haven't tried either one and I don't know if the Unicorn one's still available. If it is, I'll try that and probably die of a sugar coma shortly afterwards. But, maybe I'll do the dragon one actually to avoid that. I think the dragon one has less sugar, maybe? No. But this basically tastes like a frozen Dunkachino. If you had a frozen Dunkachino before, this is exactly what this thing tastes like. Same exact thing. Is there a replacement for the culotta? I'm kind of fine with it. I think if, it, if they can reduce the sugar in it and supply, you know, replace that basically with the caffeine and more of a coffee taste to it, I'm fine with that. Works for me. pretty good it's not I don't think it's as good as the best culottes I've had but you know it's still pretty good Not that one. And uh, can we go Starbucks and get that uh, unicorn frap? Or dragon frap, whichever one's available. By the way, there's a ton of sugar in those Dunkin' coffees, like 123 grams of sugar in the large one. I'm not getting a large unicorn. I'm getting the smallest one I can. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, they didn't have either the unicorn or the dragon frap at this local Starbucks. Very sad. However, next door they do have this coming soon. Agreed. 